Welcome back to the Joyride. This episode is going to be a little different. Rather than getting a board made specifically for me by one of the board brands, we're actually going to check out the new JS Garage in Oceanside. They're actually really close to our new stab office, so I just wanted to come in, see what they have, maybe grab one, and test it out. Ah, first board in Black Bear. Remember this one? Had a good time on this a couple years back. I think this is Aki's model. Chunky little boy. This board looks really nice, but it's not quite my size. Maybe we can find something a little smaller. The Easy Rider. I think they make these for fat guys. <laughs> Sorry, big boned. I don't want to get canceled. These are massive. What is this, like 50 liters? I don't think we have waves to justify that at the moment. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Black box, hi-fi. Does it have the magic fit? Oh my god. I think we have a small wave demon right here. In the EPS as well. It's just gonna fly, I can already tell. To be honest, I don't know much about this model. I think we're gonna have to ask an expert. <laughs> I just found this on the rack. Looks and feels amazing. Black Box 3, tell me a little bit about it, please. So the Black Box 3, it's still super high performance but it still gives you that little bit of width in the sweet spot across here. So in the waves, say in California or even East Coast, in small stuff, you need that little bit of volume, bit of width there. But it's probably not what you'll see the guys on tour riding. It's been great since Parker's been off tour. He rides a lot of these at home. Mm. And you can definitely just tell he has a lot more fun and flow with it. And not so serious, you know? So I'd love to see you try though, mate. I think it'd be a good one. Well, first session on the Monster Box 3 is done, and it was really everything I asked for, and maybe even a little bit more. Yesterday I was riding a twin fin, and so I was pretty accustomed to that slidey, loose feel, and when I got on this, I thought it felt kind of like stiff at first, but then I realized that I just had to adjust my surfing a little bit, and once I did that, I felt super connected to the board, which is not typical for me, especially with like an EPS. EPS, it usually takes me a couple sessions to feel like I'm kind of gelling with the board and you know, not just kind of sitting on top of the water. I mean, pretty much everything Nutty explained to us is exactly what I felt. It was just like a little bit easier to ride version of a shortboard that just had more flow and speed over the sections that you needed. So for waves like this, which was admittedly really fun lower, so maybe it doesn't quite count, I can't really think of a board that I'd rather ride out there. So the fins felt super good. They definitely felt like a little bit on the stiffer side, which worked on some of the bigger waves I had out here. I think though next time I'm gonna try something that's maybe a little bit looser, a little bit more flexy, a little bit more made for kind of like fun beach break conditions. So yeah, I wanna get it out to waves that aren't quite as perfect, but maybe have a little bit more steepness and I don't know, sectioniness. Sectioniness, that's not a word. <laughs> maybe have a little bit more steepness and sections to them.
All right, well, we started out at a wave that was basically a glorified closeout. Like, I was just trying to stand up and get one turn in as fast as I could. Luckily, this board is really quick and responsive and nimble, so I was able to at least get a couple turns in, but eventually wanted to find a wave that had a bit more face to it. So we switched up the location and found some really, really fun waves. And the board just continues to surprise and amaze me. The EPS, the Hi-Fi, it's so springy and light. It just feels like I can kind of like get up and go super quick, which is always a huge benefit, especially when you're surfing waves that are dumpy and fast. It's just a really, really fun surfboard for fun size waves. Like everywhere I go, I feel like I can just surf it how I want to surf. And it just has an extra bit of spring and speed to it that I haven't really been getting out of some other boards that I've been riding. This session we threw in the vapor core fins from Futures and they're a really light fin because they're actually a little bit hollow on the inside but they also hold really well because they're made from carbon so they have a bit of stiffness and they seem to really like the beach break. They allowed me to kind of, you know, pop off the lip or, you know, lay down something of a decent turn. So I can totally understand why, you know, Parco Post Tour decided to hop on these things because it just seems like a more fun short board to ride than like a super blady, rockery, high performance thing. And you don't feel like you're losing many performance benefits. And I'm just kind of like coming back from a bit of an injury, so I don't feel like my surfing is necessarily like top tier right now, but this is a board that makes me excited to get out into the water and just keep practicing, get those reps up, get the muscle memory back, and hopefully one day do some of my best surfing in small waves.